How y'all guys doing out there? YouTube land. I'm Carlos from Curtis right now. I'm doing a tutorial on how to um, change your ringtone notification for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. By the way, this is on um, Samsung Galaxy Note 8 T-Mobile. My number is N Y S N nine five zero. And in the back, you will see Samsung um, Galaxy Note 8 um, dual cams. And to show y'all guys furthermore, there is a Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Here's the pen. There's the pen to it. One UI version for uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 8 T-Mobile. Now, I'm going to do the rest of the tutorial on a screen recording. And before I start my screen recording um, tutorial on how to change your um, ringtones for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, I'd like to give thanks to all the people that leave comments, especially to my tutorial on the um, how to bypass it. Google FRP lock with no computer for the Samsung Galaxy um, Note 8 T-Mobile. And also check out my other video, which is... Um, to do a fully bypass of FRP lock for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 using the computer. That was official, y'all. So check out that video, too. So let's move on to the um, screen recording tutorial that I've actually done on um, how to change your um, ringtone for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. See y'all guys over there. Here you go. First thing you got to do is pretty much... Go to where it says my file. My file. But I'm going to demonstrate further for you guys because I'm going to actually teach you guys and demonstrate on how you can able to change your um, notification sound for your um, T-Mobile Galaxy Note 8. Let me take out the pen. Pretty much. The pen make it much easier for me to demonstrate to y'all. And also show proof that this phone is actually Samsung Galaxy Note 8. What I'm going to do is this. Freeze the screen. Then pretty much I'm going to write on the screen. So what you guys need to do first is click on right here where it says My Files right here my files alright now pretty much when you're done with that when you're done with um my files okay disregard when you're done with my files then you click on my files second what you need to do is let me just run the screen again what you got to do is click right here click on where it says right here audio see what it says audio Now when you click on audio, okay, then you gotta pretty much whatever you download on the web. But see right now, previously when I did this tutorial, I already downloaded a couple of, of MP3 files though. But I would show you guys, you know, MP3, MP3 file of 50 and play it, but I don't want to get hit with copyright strike. So pretty much you just click on right it says right here. And what's we'll suppose I want to download Samson Whistle? So pretty much what I'm gonna do. I want to download Samson Whistle right here. Let's say Samson Whistle right there. Pretty much I'm gonna click on it and hold. Then let go. And then when it says right here, 
Let me just freeze it right now. Let me write on the screen where it says right here. Now you gotta do this. Pretty much you got where it says right here, copy, file, copy. Is where you gotta click here. You gotta, you gotta actually um copy the files. So once you copy the files, then you gotta go to home screen. Now right here, this is and write it down. This is home. Home right here. That's where you gotta be at home. Now once you're at the um home screen, okay, then you gotta pretty much let me freeze it again. Let me just when you at the home screen, then you gotta pretty much click where it says settings, where it, where the gear is at. Right around here. This is the settings. That's where you gotta click at the settings. Now once you click on the settings. You gotta find sounds and vibrations. You click right here, sounds and and um vibrations. Now, once you click on sounds and um, on vibrations, you got to click here where it says notification sounds. So, let me just pretty much on the screen right here where it says notification and sounds. This is where you gotta click right here. And then you gotta find um, Samson whistle notification. Right here. You click right here. Get a Samson whistle notification. Samson whistle notification MP3 right here. All right. Then you got to pretty much go back where it says notification sounds. Let me write on the screen again. Right here when it said notification and sounds you click right here where it says notification and sounds then you gotta make sure that it's actually on the sound that you choose like the Samson whistle notification so that's what you gotta do you gotta double check and make sure it's actually right where you want it at, right here. It's where it says Samson Whistle Notification. All right. Then when you do that, you got to pretty much go back to the home screen. So pretty much you click right here. This is for this is for the people that actually own the um, Samsung Galaxy Note 8. The button is is right at the bottom, right here at the screen. Let me write. Let me just pretty much speak with clarity, um, clarity because this is um, the tutorial. Okay, this is where you do it. You click right here, right here. 
And once you click here, that'll take you back to the home screen. Now, once you at the home screen, okay, what I'm gonna do is send out a text. Let you guys know that it's actually working. There you go. There you go. The Samsung whistle. Now that's how you actually change your notification sound for the Samsung or the T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy Note 8 phone. Actually, this phone is running on Pi. I forgot to tell you guys that. Is running on one UI Pi. Now I will go to the set of the phone, actually show you guys that this phone is actually running on one U um one UI, but it's gonna show my I M E I number. And if that number goes to the wrong hands, it really they can really mess you up. So I don't get down like that. So 